Hi there. Now, when I talk about writing, I know some people are going to start to go, oh, no. Just as if I were to say, let's do math. Of course, we're not going to do math right now, but I'm sure you would freak out at math. But writing is actually not as complicated as we make it look like. Now, the reason why we get a little nervous is that there's a lot of people who it really is hard to write. Now, I'm not trying to brag, but I have been very fortunate to have a lot of good writing skills. When I was 12 years old, my dad told me, son, you can write, because I wrote an essay that he liked. And actually, I do most of my writing around 1.30 in the morning. I know 1.30 in the morning sounds like a very early time, but that's the way it is. At 1.30 in the morning, I'm typing away, and there you go, it comes. Just like when you're in class, and there's a young lady across the table, and she starts with that pen and starts to write, and it looks like she doesn't stop until she's written four pages. You know who I'm talking about. A guy can do that too sometimes, but it's usually the girl. So you're like, going, okay, what is she writing about? Well, here's the thing. Some people have it natural, and that's good. 90% of us don't. It's kind of like even basketball or football or baseball. I love those sports, but the best I can do is bounce the ball a little bit and throw one in 20 shots. That's not a good percentage. So what I have to realize, what you're going to have to realize is, you take it one at a time. You aim, you fire that ball, I fire that ball. If it goes in, yay. Same thing with writing. How do I do, how do I, what do I suggest? Take one sentence at a time. Okay, let's use this subject. It's been floating around for a while. Let's say I'm talking about rain. And there's a class that I know of that's using the topic, light rain, heavy rain. Great idea. Why? Because it's perfect for just dwelling on the whole concept of rain falling down. You can imagine yourself in the living room, in the kitchen, or the bedroom, and the rain is coming down, and you see it trickle down the window. And most likely, if it's that kind of rain, you're inside. You can't go out and be with anybody, or unless you've got a car and you can drive, but if you're in junior high, you're not going to go very far. So you're looking out there, and you're like, oh, can't be with my friends, can't go around with a bike, can't play with a dog. Ah, do you realize what you just did there? You wrote down three different ideas. You write down, I can't play with my friends. I can't play with my friends, my dog is outside. I cannot go out and pet him. You say, why would he be outside? He's in a doghouse, okay? Don't worry, he's okay. Well, he maybe he's in a garage. I don't know. I'm just making something up here. But the point is this, you're thinking thoughts about what it's like to be inside. I cannot ride my bike. Now, in a moment or two, when you thought, what do I write? I can't think of anything. We just thought of three things. You write them down one sentence at a time. You see, you don't worry about the fact that your neighbor is writing three pages. And, hey, you're glad that they are. And maybe at some point, you will too. But what you've got to worry about is one sentence at a time. And then you write this. You say, I can't go with my friends. I have to stay inside. I am stuck doing chores. I am stuck doing chores and then you say then I guess I'm going to play a game or two then I will play a game or two now you say what are you doing there hey 
I'm writing everything down. Everything I just said, I'm writing it down. Because at some point, I'm going to look at what I just wrote down and say, hmm, maybe I can write it. Maybe I can put these sentences together to make it make sense. And so I say, it's raining outside and I can't go play with my friends. Well, I guess I'm stuck here because I can't ride my bike. And my poor dog is outside, so there's no time to pet him. You just wrote two or three sentences that are giving what your thoughts are. You keep that up one sentence at a time. By the time you're done thinking, and remember, you've got to make an effort at it. You can't go and just say this, yeah, it's raining out, yeah, whatever. you got to think. Use the imagination. You can. Just take a moment and say, okay, what next? You say, well, hey, what if I can write? Good. Then do it. Write a paragraph or two. Again, you may not be the person that's going to write three or four pages. There's always going to be someone like that. And you should be applauding them and saying, good deal. They've got that ability. But if you can get a couple paragraphs, three paragraphs, four, one paragraph can lead to two, two paragraphs can lead to three, etc., etc. Just like one sentence leads to two, two sentences to three, etc., etc. You see, too many of us want to write that whole story in 10 minutes. You know what? For 95% of us, that ain't going to happen. It's going to take time. It's going to take some thinking. It's going to take a pause and just relax and give it your best shot. And you know what? You can do it. I promise you. You can do it. And I know your teacher will give you some great ideas as to how you can do even better. Later.